Hello and welcome to my channel, where I share tips and tricks on how to make smart investments. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to avoid different risks in SIP investments. SIP stands for Systematic Investment Plan, which is a way of investing a fixed amount of money in mutual funds at regular intervals. SIPs are popular because they help you save money, build wealth, and achieve your financial goals. But SIPs are not risk-free. There are some risks involved in SIP investments that you need to be aware of and avoid. These risks include Market volatility risk. This is the risk of losing money due to fluctuations in the market prices of the mutual fund units. Market volatility can be caused by various factors, such as economic conditions, political events, natural disasters, etc. Portfolio interperformance risk. This is the risk of earning lower returns than expected or than the benchmark index. Portfolio interperformance can be caused by poor fund selection, fund managers' mistakes, sectoral or thematic bias, etc. Liquidity risk. This is the risk of not being able to sell your mutual fund units quickly and easily when you need money. Liquidity risk can be caused by low trading volume, redemption restrictions, exit load, etc. Negative or low return risk. This is the risk of losing your principal amount or earning very low returns over a long period of time. Negative or low return risk can be caused by market downturns, inflation, interest rate changes, etc. So how can you avoid these risks and make your SIP investments more secure and profitable? Here are some tips. Diversify your portfolio. Diversify your portfolio across different asset classes, sectors, themes, and fund categories. This will help you reduce your exposure to any single risk factor and balance your risk-reward ratio. Choose funds wisely. Choose funds that suit your risk profile, investment horizon, and financial goals. Do your research on the fund's performance history, expense ratio, portfolio composition, fund manager's track record, etc. Invest for the long term. Invest for the long term and do not panic when the market goes up or down. SIPs help you benefit from rupee cost averaging and compounding effect, which can enhance your returns over time. Review and rebalance your portfolio. Review and rebalance your portfolio periodically to ensure that it is aligned with your current risk appetite and financial objectives. You can also switch funds if they are not performing well or if there are better options available. These are some of the ways you can avoid different risks in SIP investments and make them more rewarding. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching and happy investing.